Um, I think at, 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 at a top level, if you look at it uh, from face value, it, uh, it actually makes sense. But if you are to do a bit of uh, evaluation of what exactly it means, then you realize that uh, it, might, it might miss the mark. Why do I say this? Uh, we know that in Kenya, around 90% of what we call SMEs are micro, mm -hmm. in the sense that these are businesses that have turnovers of below 500,000 annually. Um, if you are to combine that with 79% of SMEs being informal, it means that chances of, of, of the tax holiday hitting uh, actual businesses might not actually uh, uh, take place. So for me, that's, that's, that's a, a real concern. Um, but on the flip side, what I see is positive from, uh, from the report mm -hmm. is the prompt payment of uh, SMEs. Uh, given the, the challenge of access to finance by a lot of SMEs, it means that you know, being, when, when you're paid um, uh, early enough, you can use uh, the profits that you're getting to uh, plow back to the business. So for me, I think that's a positive. Right, and Victor, of course, um, there are different views in as far as what these proposals are, but the young the young, the young people that are establishing these um, businesses, because if you look at the statistics, it shows you that about um, more than 7 million being as SM, MSMEs, but only 1.5% are registered. What would be the biggest tragedy that is causing people not to register their, their businesses, bearing in mind that uh, the tax holiday being proposed is pegged on the fact that you have to have registered with an organization within government? I think the challenge that we have in Kenya as a country is we don't have enough incentives to support um, enterprise development. So um, immediately you start, uh, um, you know, running your business. Um, there are a lot of tax. There are, there are a lot of licenses that you have to pay. Tax is already uh, at your table. Yet you've not even proved your business model. You're not even making revenue, or you're not even profitable. So this is a, a very big disincentive for a lot of a bit of entrepreneurs to actually uh, formally register their business. So I think if you have to look at the current SME, uh, you know, the way they are, uh, the, the, the arrangement is that if we could focus on the current SME, the 7 million, and try to give them um, or to try address the challenges that they actually face. Mm -hmm. So these are, these are issues to do with access to finance, access to markets, uh, you know, policies that are not as supportive, um, access to technology, information, etc., etc. With enough incentives for you to support, for, for us to support business, then it would be easier to have the conversation of now can we be able to formalize business because the ease of doing business for SMEs is easier. Okay, all right. Of course, uh, we'll continue with that. But uh, just one more question. And as far as um, the question about uh, prompt payment uh, is being proposed, that you have to pay an invoice 30 days after it has been presented. And of course, if you have any queries to raise, then you have to make them known within 10 days of presentation. I mean, usually, even in this country, there's that um, uh, assumption that you're supposed to pay your bills within reasonable time. What do you think would be necessary, would have to be done to ensure that we don't have the cases of pending bills and especially affecting a small and medium enterprises. Yeah, so like I mentioned, um, you know, SMEs have a, a challenge of access to finance. So, you know, uh, bank finance and all these uh, formal institutions um, in terms of, you know, uh, giving credit to SMEs, number one is very bureaucratic is, um, and still relies on collateral. Um, so I think uh, getting prompt payments is a very good thing, but Penalties have to be, uh, or the people who are responsible for making those payments have to bear some form of penalty in case um, they delay those payments. Because the, the more they delay, the more you know SMEs uh, suffer in terms of their cash flow or working capital. Right, thank you so much, Victor. Don't go away. We're still going on with this conversation. But joining us now in studio, we have um, uh, one of the Ramogi.